Welcome, said the town. My name is Aaron Robbins, and this is a travel journal about small towns and out-of-the-way places as told by their signs. Today, I'm headed to Westwood, California. Not to be confused with Westworld, the main difference being that Westwood has a lack of killer theme park androids. I'm headed to Westwood for a specific reason, Paul Bunyan. I hear they have a giant Paul Bunyan statue along with a Babe the Blue Ox, and well, I'm a bit of a video collector of Paul Bunyans. Look at this shot from a documentary I made a few years ago. See? Paul Bunyan. And this is a big one. He talks, he moves, it's 300 miles away from Westwoods in Klamath, California. You can see them both in a day if you know how to drive curves. I came at Westwood by way of Chico on State Route 32, which leaves green plateaus in favor of windy forest roads that play follow the leader with Deer Creek. I got out at this bridge over the lesser known Chico Creek and burned valuable daylight only to learn that there was a much prettier bridge up the road. I didn't stop for that one. If you're wondering if there's graffiti under every random bridge in the middle of nowhere, well, I almost broke my ankle checking this one, so I'll let you get the next. I stopped in the small town of Forest Ranch on the way to Westwood to see how things were going at the local post office. The PTA's free stickers were gone by the time I got there, that was a bummer, but somebody was offering a free guinea pig. I passed on the opportunity and got back on the road. I'll have to solve my sticker problem elsewhere. I was staying in Chester, California for the night. The restaurants and gas stations were closed when I got there, so I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich made with the supplies from a grocery store which had hand-painted no skateboarding signs out front. I commemorated the occasion with a $2 sticker from the spinner rack inside. Take that, Forest Ranch PTA. Early the next morning, I headed out from Chester to find Paul Bunyan or the town he built. If you're headed this way on a similar mission, you might be tempted to skip the Olson Barn Meadow. Don't be crazy, it's beautiful. You can hike out to this old barn on the banks of Lake Almanor, or if it's early and you're in a hurry, you can fly a drone. There are a lot of deer signs on the way to Westwood. You got small ones, you got ones with the Rudolph reflector nose, and then you have this one that seems to indicate there is no chance of not hitting a deer. Double negatives aside, I pass through this section without hitting anything but the gas. A few miles later, I slowed down because this sign confused me. I wasn't sure if Highway Route 44 was to the left or if the proper noun highway was 44 miles away. The capitalization of road signs didn't help, but this was a mystery that would have to wait. As you venture towards Westwood, you'll pass Lake Elmanor Peninsula, where if you stop at the Paul Bunyan Resort, you won't find a statue of the lumberjack, but you will find his cheeseburger, sitting on top of the frosty restaurant and mini golf check-in counter, closed for the season. Westwood, California. It's a small town if there ever was one. For many, it's a town you pass through, a place on the way to somewhere else. For me, it was the destination and the reason for all the camera gear in the back of my car. There are two supermarkets in Westwood. The Super Y Market, Y in quotes, as if they are mocking the letter that ends many adverbs adequately. And hey, look at that. Highway mystery solved. Looks like Highway 44 is not 44 miles away, just a 15 minute drive if you don't hit any deer or deer signs. The other supermarket is downtown. It's the kind of main street sign I love, and it's sitting above what was once and hopefully will be again soon a bustling California Main Street. At the edge of this Main Street is this mural painted by Jackie Saltzgaver, Gail Cordova, and the Lassen College Arts class. There's a bald eagle hidden in this picture. Can you see it? Actually, I lied. There's two, but don't pause the video to find it because the weather looks like it's about to turn.
across the street from the Bald Eagles is this house, which decided to make a room addition with an entire Western Pacific rail car. The rail car is literally attached to the house. I find this amazing, and I'm currently checking with my neighborhood's covenants, conditions, and restrictions to see if they'll let me do something similar. There's like four churches in Westwood, interestingly positioned at each corner of town. And then there's this one. This one has seen better days, but even in its current condition, it's one of the most beautiful small town churches I've seen in California. If you're gonna eat at the Old Mill Cafe, I would recommend you do not exit through the second story back door. Also, if you look closely, it's now snowing, which is a bummer because I wore shorts. I asked around about the Paul Bunyan statue and some nice folks pointed me towards downtown. Near the corner gas station, said the town. Corner gas station? Those are my second favorite things next to Paul Bunyan statues. I wanted to call someone and tell them the good news, and luckily, Westwood has a number of payphones. I picked up the receiver on all of them, but all I heard were the lyrics of a different Paul. That was a Paul Simon joke for those keeping score. Hey look, it's Phineas and Ferb. On the way to downtown, I saw someone had written, Got school? It's cool, with three O's and like three L's. Honestly, the last two L's could have been exclamation marks. The penmanship looked a little rushed. Westwood actually does have both a high school and an elementary school not far from this subpar graffiti. And as you guessed it, the mascot is the Lumberjacks or the Paul Bunyans or something. I don't know, the statue out front was wearing a mask and wouldn't answer any of my questions. I headed down to the county jail, or at least what once was, and I heard from the town there that Paul Bunyan wasn't far away. In fact, the firewood-making lumberjack was right across the street from the Westwood Fire Department. I'm sure there's a metaphor in there somewhere, but I was too busy looking at what was across the street to find it. And there it was, Babe the Blue Ox and Paul Bunyan. All this time, it had been right downtown. It's almost like I avoided showing it just so I could reveal it at the end of the video. Paul Bunyan, the American and Canadian legend who represents lumber camps and logging towns, hardworking people with a spirit of strength. As I wandered around Westwood on a random snowy morning in April, I could see that spirit in the smiles and waves of the people I ran into. And by ran into, I mean encountered. As previously stated, I didn't hit any deer or people or killer androids for that matter. Thanks for watching Said the Town. Like and subscribe, or better, go visit Westwood and see Paul Bunyan for yourself.